um, have worked with stone since I found out that I really have a passion for it. I've always enjoyed teaching, I've always enjoyed telling people who are interested about stone and I have taught at the stone carving school in Denmark and uh, teaching here at World Bank, also doing presentations uh, I really enjoy. I really enjoy uh, uh, sharing the knowledge that I have of stone and the restoration of stone. I especially enjoy Willow Bank because the students here really are motivated to do something about heritage and they're, they're, I find that the students at Willow Bank are going through the program because they have an interest in heritage and they have an interest in uh, conserving. It's really enjoyable to come here every year. I, I really, really do think it's worth the trip to Canada to, to be a part of this program. After the first couple of years of, of being here teaching stone conservation, we finally got in touch with uh, the people at St. Mark's and Donald Coombe, who uh, was interested in, in, in us doing some of the gravestones, which has actually been, been an honor for me and also the students to be able to work with those stones. So uh, the idea is actually to restore the stones of interest and the stones that are, need a little bit of help. We've been working on three or four of them this week trying to get them to, to be ready to put up again. Some of it was, was uh, cleaning the stone in the beginning and consolidation of the stone with lime water. Afterwards, the ones that were broken we put together, we pinned together. Some of them with epoxy and some of them with, with hydraulic lime mortars. And um, in the end, then filling out the cracks and and it's always a challenge putting stone together if it's in several pieces. And, uh, one of the, the, the stones, which I think I remember was in eight or nine pieces, it's always difficult to put it together so all the pieces fit perfectly, uh, which is definitely a challenge. Um, another challenge is actually what type of material you're going to use, especially with uh, one of the stones for Charles Secord, which was uh, pretty rough shape to be honest. It was uh, like the surface was disintegrated and the stone's in bad shape. So that's one of the challenges and how do you how do you handle a stone like that that any time may just fall apart while you're working with it. And of course we ended up putting some of them up at the cemetery too. We returned this week, one we had returned last year and uh, Hopefully, it's two or three of them will come up next year. We are